What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I've been wanting to do a video about 3D printers for a while. I think these are a great tool to add to your shop. Not only can they be used to make helmets and art, but they can also be used to make stuff to improve your workshop and home. Longer sent me one of their large format FDM printers, the LK5 Pro. So today we're going to see what this new tool can do and figure out where it fits in my workshop. When I first got into 3D printing like five or six years ago, the only options for an affordable printer were to either build your own from scratch or buy an inexpensive kit that was mostly made of acrylic and took a ton of time to assemble. The LK5 Pro comes 90% assembled. The first thing you'll want to do is peel off this sticker and select the right voltage. I changed mine to 110 volt. Next you'll need to slide the x-axis beam onto the gantry. Then we install the motor and threaded rod. Now we can install the whole assembly on the base. Attach the stabilizing rods, spool holder, a support bracket for the screw, this limit switch, just make sure it lines up with the sticker on the side. Now we can start connecting the wires, they're all clearly labeled. I installed the control screen and connected the final wire. Finally, we can install the glass bed and these clips. The first thing you'll want to do is level the bed. This is a pretty easy process. It has a built-in program that moves the nozzle around to each corner. I just use a piece of paper and adjust the thumb screws under the bed until it starts to drag. It's a good idea to repeat this process a few times. They include a micro SD card with some software and a few different files. We'll talk about the software I recommend in a minute. They also give you a little bit of filament. I selected the calibration cube for the test print. Previously, if I wanted to print something like a helmet, I'd have to make it with multiple pieces and glue them all together. This machine has a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter bed size, and that allows me to do a lot of them in a single print. A 3D printer really opens up a world of possibilities that can't easily be done by any other means. It used to be impossible to connect my Bosch vacuum to my Makita miter saw, but now it's easy. My track saw used to shoot a ton of dust out of this dust port, but not anymore. I made a new dust connector for this also. It allows you to use the bag or connect to my Bosch vacuum. I use Fusion 360 to design my own files, but there's a ton of free or paid ones available. I often use thingiverse.com. Here you'll be able to search through a ton of files. They're all free, but they do give you the chance to tip the creators. For slicing software, I recommend Cura. The free version is great and it has a ton of community support. You can use their recommended settings or set custom ones of your own. Then you just click slice and it will generate the G-code for your machine. I'll put links in the description to Cura and all the models I used in this video so you can check them out. The stepper motors on this machine are completely silent. All you hear when it runs is the fan. 
When your model finishes printing, it moves forward so you can get to it. The bed works in a way that it holds the material when hot, but as soon as it cools, the pieces pop right off. If you're interested in checking one of these out for yourself, I'll put an affiliate link in the description. Any sales made through this link will help support the channel. Please leave any comments or questions below. I still have a lot to learn about this machine, but I'm having a ton of fun doing so. As always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and share the video if you found it helpful. And if you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see everyone over on this next video.